back into the wilderness and you know the drill by now. Recently I've been doing challenges that involve me staying in the wildy for long periods of time doing a certain activity. Today's challenge is 13,337 black chinchampas without banking. Let's go. First we make hunter kits. We drop most of our cerebrus onto the floor, which is a little bit scary. But then we open the hunter kits, drop everything besides the box trap, and we start setting them up. And obviously since I am only 73 hunter, I can't put up the six traps yet, but we'll get there. All right, let's see if I still remember how to tick manipulate this. I just accidentally drank a super restore dose. Oh God. Not a good thing that that just happened. So I'm in Wildy, risking a lot of chins, but I've got something to say. What if I told you I could switch your web browser preference in just three seconds? because it only took one minute for me. Opera GX decided to sponsor this video, so I gave their browser a try, and immediately it became my favorite. I'm gonna show you why right now. See this web page? It hurts, doesn't it? Well, just head to the settings, turn on Force Dark Pages, and boom. Yeah, I'm not kidding, this was my deciding factor. I tried many times on Chrome to make my Google Docs page not be blinding, but to no avail. Opera made it as easy as can be. Beyond just having this amazing feature, there's a lot more that Opera can offer. That includes things like GX Corner, where you'll get all sorts of updates and info on newly released games and news. It seems like everything is seamlessly in one place for me with this browser. I mean, I've got my Discord here, I've got my Twitch, I've got Messenger, and even Spotify, which pauses itself when you decide to watch a YouTube video, and then resumes your music when you're done watching the video. It's great. And for you tech-savvy people out there, Opera GX has CPU limiters, RAM limiters, and even bandwidth limiters so that you aren't taking up too many resources while you're gaming. Here I have two 4K videos playing on Google Chrome and Opera, and as you can see, Opera only using up around 3% of my CPU, while Google Chrome was using around 10%. That's pretty significant. A lot of these benefits are also in their mobile app, so make sure and check that out as well. I'm not lying when I say this is my new browser, and of course, I was not obligated to say that. I just really find it better than what I was using before. What are you doing here? I'm trying to do a sponsor segment, man. Anyways, download Opera GX today with my link in the description or the pinned comment and see what I'm talking about. Thanks again to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. I actually decided to bring the light bearer ring and figured it would be better over the suffering since my only escape here is going to be specs. There we go, the first level of the video, level 74 hunter, six levels to go until we can get six traps. By the way, I don't think I ever checked the risk, but uh, yeah, the risk is currently 15 mil, 12 mil unsculled. There needs to be more mechanics in Wildy where the more you're risking, the more benefit you receive. For instance, maybe there's an amulet that gives a certain amount of DPS depending upon how much rev ether you have inside of the amulet. If you have 1,000 ether inside the amulet, you get 2% more DPS. And then if you have 10,000 ether inside the amulet, you get 10% more DPS. Oh, here we go. Did he, I think he just hopped. Man, I shouldn't, I didn't need, I didn't even need to log out then. That kind of sucks. Well, that means I now have to get all my box traps back again. You know, that's such a lengthy process that if a PK logs in, I might just let them attack me. Better than logging out and having to do that all over again. I will, of course, log out if I see somebody really scary, like someone in Arams or someone in Full Crystal. But if I see somebody in Mystic, I gotta be honest, I'm not logging out. 07 PK. Yeah, that's a scout if I ever saw one. I actually missed it slightly, but we have now passed 1,000 black chinchampas, which means we're about 1 13th of the way done. What do you think the max amount is that someone has caught black chins in this area without banking? There's no way it's more than 5,000, right? By the time I reach this goal, the record has to be broken. There's no way someone has gotten 13,000 black chinchampas without banking in the wilderness. It hasn't happened until today. Oh my god. Oh, I knew it was going to happen again eventually. I got to change the spot that that's in. That's so bad. Well, there's two doses of Super Restore gone. All right, that just about does it for the hour. I tried to go as hard as I could, and we ended up getting 111,000 XP per hour at level 76. And I'm going to have to look at the footage to see how many Chinchampas we caught, but I was probably a little over 300. Oh. And there is another dose. I can't, I just can't stop doing this. We're only 2,000 in here and we've done this now three times. Okay, we're, we're just gonna drop this super restore. One dose is not going to make a difference. Suck penis. Suck penis. Wonderful name, by the way. Come on, PKers, I need some action in my life. Why do you think I come here? It's certainly not to catch black chins. I'm sorely disappointed in the wilderness right now. There's none in sight. Oh. 
Oh, you gave me a pretty good scare. I'm not going to lie. As soon as I saw somebody log in under me, I was expecting a declaw right after that. And there is 2000 black chinchampas. We have not even been attacked a single time. I don't even know how that's possible, but we're just about to hit level 78. And we have, of course, a little over 11,000 to go. Gotta say, I'm very happy with myself that I have not squandered this Terramin in the first 2000. By the way, if you're wondering what I'll do if this Terramin ends up getting made into tar, there is actually one grimy herb spawn in all of Gilinor and it's in the Deep Wilderness Dungeon. So if that happens, I'll just go to the Deep Wilderness Dungeon and pick up that grimy guam. Am I going to be attacked this entire 13,000 chins? I'm curious. I've got, uh, what, what do we got here? Is that 6 mil, 6.2 mil on me right now? I'm ripe for the picking. Somebody. Anybody. I've created a monster, because nobody wants to see Hogger no more. They want William chopped liver. And there we go. That is now 3,001 black chinchampas, still without anyone attacking me a single time. I honestly don't know how or why, but hey, I'm not complaining. At least not yet. It's almost here. Just 42,000 more XP, and our chins per hour is going to go way up. Oh, do we have a PKer? Yeah, it's a level 70. There are only PKer peers here. If you ever want to do this, make sure to just get 126 combat before you train your hunter, and then do black chinchampas, because everybody that's here is a pure PKer. Okay, that's a level 98. You know, I'm just going to stand here. Homie is scary. No, please attack me. I beg. I plead. Attack me. Do it. I'll put him a smiley face. You gotta attack somebody that smiley faces you. Hit me! I want you to do it! Oh, he's gonna... That's why you're attacking... That guy's in black d -hide. He doesn't even have a shield on! Look at me! Look at how much I'm risking! Don't I look juicy to you? Yeah? Yeah? Sound good, doesn't it? Yeah. And he logs out. I told this man that I was risking 3,000 black chinchampas, and he doesn't attack me. Half of the reason why I think it's exciting to skill in the wilderness is because the PKers are the X-Factor. Having to escape is always a, a exciting thing for me. So, yeah, I'm, I'm getting a little bit bored. Now, that being said, I'm not going to go into Rot's Discord and tell them I'm risking 3k chins, but come on, give me something. There it is, 80, Hunter. You can now have up to five traps placed at a time, but in the wilderness, they up that to six. Oh, I think that was all six. I gotta go back in the recording, but I think that was all six in a chain. You love to see that, man. It's so fast. Oh my god, it's a PKer. There's no way, bro. I don't believe it. All right, we equip this. Oh my god, bro. Oh, oh my god, well played to him. I should be dead. I have got to watch my health better. I just was not expecting that. All right, so after looking back over the clip, I actually would have walked under him without him being able to AGS spec me, but unfortunately, I accidentally tried to pick up one of the box traps, which prevented me from walking under. So I'll have to be wary of that in the future. What do we do here? Do we decide to stay at 63 HP and hopefully get all the way back up to 99? Do we decide to go and fish that extra dark crab that we ended up using? I'm gonna say no. We're not gonna fish for the dark crabs until we get lower on supplies. For now, I'm gonna say screw it. Let's just keep going. Oh, there's Suck Penis again. It's been about two or three days since I last saw him. And we are now at 5,000 Black Chinchampas. Almost halfway there. I would like to see a little bit more action, I'm not gonna lie. So far, it's been one PK attempt, and he did almost kill me. But kind of baffled that I have not seen that many PK attempts. Do we have somebody? Do we have a PKer? Joe Byron, where are you going? Come back. Kill me, please. I just want to die. You know, it's actually a miracle that I haven't made this Terramin into Tar yet. Okay, and this should be 84 Hunter. 14 million GP worth of Black Chinchampas. Oh my god, somebody's attacking me. Hold the- everybody hold the phone. Hold the- wait, where are you going? What? Come back. Where are you going? Come here. What? What are you doing? You're supposed to be killing me! Oh my god! How hard is it to get someone to kill you in this game? If I've got to be the guy with $100 bills falling out of his pockets in the slums, I will be that guy. Oh my god, a level 93. Amazing. Alright, we'll put this on. And that'll do it. 
the first action we have seen in ages. Man, that feels good. Finally get the heart pumping. If you're wondering how long this has been going on, I think we're at around the 25 hour mark. And I also think I'm running out of memory on my SSD, but hopefully it'll hold out for the rest of the 10 hours. And above 9,000 black chinchampas, now 4,000 left to go. It's gonna happen. At this point, I'd be very surprised if I die in this video, considering I've only been attacked what, two times now? But you never know, in the 2,222 Rev Nights, the hardest part of the video was the last section. Oh, looks like we have a new poll running, let's see. Should a new skill be added to the game? Yes, indeed. All right, there's my propaganda done for today. Oh my god, a level 108? Could it be? Oh my god, no way. Oh my god. Oh, he landed that perfectly, bro. There we go. Good fight, my friend. Finally, I got my heart beating. It's about time. After I hit that first spec and he hit his freeze at the exact same time, I was getting just a little bit worried, but... All right, we definitely took a toll on the food department, and for the first time this video, the entire reason why I brought this lobster pot and this dark crab fishing bait, we are going to go to the resource area. And there we go. I think I'm gonna leave these two spots open here and we'll head back to Chin's. No way. No way. I just got the pet. I just got the pet. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> my little black chinchampa. Oh, he's so beautiful. I honestly couldn't be happy. I, did, I never even considered about getting the pet. And we get him right around the time we hit the 10,000 black chinchampas mark. Okay, this video was very slow for the first 10,000, but hey, we're hitting 10,000 now and things are flying high. Squeak, squeak. I'm actually really sad pets are auto-insured now. Could you imagine the content if I had to make it through the rest of these 3,000 chins without dying or else I also lost my brand new pet? I mean, don't get me wrong, I want to keep the pet, of course, but I just think it would be exciting. No way. No way. <laughs> I just got the pet again. I didn't even notice it until somebody in my clan question marked. You're kidding. It has only been... 235 kills are around there since I got the last one. Well, I guess that's one free pet reclaim. What is going on right now? If you guys want to know the secret on how to get Chinchampa pets, just catch more than 10,000 without banking. On drop rate, two Chinchampa pets would be around 160,000. Oh my god, that was a level 125 in Arams. Yeah, that's... I would definitely log out for that account. If he started coming towards me, I'm logging out. You don't want to trifle with somebody in full Arams. Well, I haven't done a price check in quite a long time. Let's see how much 10,000 Black Chinchampas is worth. 23.7... Oh god! Well... Wait. Yeah, no, I should definitely hop. Is that- that was the same guy, wasn't it? I think the only reason why he couldn't attack me was because that skeleton. Oh man, that skeleton, the MVP. Oh, oh, oh wow, oh my god. Alright, we got somebody. Ooh, the guy had seeds. Nice. I'm not gonna lie, I heard the entangle sound and I was kind of confused for a couple of seconds. It's been so long. And there we go, 88 Hunter. I think I'll be getting to around 90 Hunter by the time we get to the 13,000. Currently a total level 20, 34. All right, now that we're level 88, let's do another efficient hour and see what our XP rate is. And that happens, okay. Oh, we got a crystal bower. Okay, I gotta, I gotta actually focus here. I was not thinking a crystal boar is gonna show up there. And I think we need to go and get some more dark crabs now. Crystal boar with a fang, man. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do now. First, we refill the prayer back up at the chaos altar. Then we're gonna drop this last dose of cerebrew for an extra crab because that only heals 16 while a crab will heal 22. And there's another four dark crabs. I think I'll leave this one space empty just for a little extra room for the boxes and we're good to go back. All right, let's try this efficient hour again. I'm hoping I can get around 150k XP per hour. You know, I actually thought that around this point in the video, I would have no super restores left, I'd have no brews left, and I'd just have an entire inventory of dark crabs. That's what I was expecting, but that has not been the case yet. 
We've only had to go to the resource area two times. Oh, that's the same guy. That's the same guy. That's the guy that's got the crystal, I'm pretty sure. Oh, he's ruining my hour. I'm pretty much done with this hour. It was 170k, it seems like. All right, and there it is, 166k an hour. If that PKer didn't show up at the very end there, we could have got 170k an hour at level 88 without using Kebit Crossbow. And there is 12,000 black chinchampas, little more than a thousand to go. So far in this video, I've gone from 73 to 88 hunters. So I've gained 15 levels, about to be 16. 89 hunter, 73 to 89 hunter, pretty good. This grind wasn't the worst, but my wrist is killing me. So I'm glad this is about to be done. Just one more, one more left. And there it is right there. I don't, I don't want any more. Perfect. 13,300. And 37 black chinchampas caught without banking or leaving the wilderness a single time. And we even got a new friend to go along with it. All right, let's go jump that wildy ditch. And another no banking challenge has been completed. Well, it took a little bit, but the chins finally did finish selling and we get ourselves a nice clean 30 million GP cash stack from that grind. 35 hours in the wilderness and 30 million GP later, the grind ended up being 860,000 GP per hour from level 73 to 89. We also started at level 73, getting 111,000 experience per hour and ended at level 89, getting 168,000 experience per hour. There was a bit less action in this video compared to the last one, but we did get ourselves a pet, so I'm happy. If you'd like to see the last video, then click here. I went out and only killed the rev boss in near max gear for 10 hours. Also big thanks to Mr. Snow Snowmiser, Hamster King 5, Mia IRL, and Samuel Peterson, and a special thanks to Mr. Bears, Louis Vanderveld, and Reese Diesel for recently joining.